Well, Helene, welcome. Thanks for joining me on Coffee Break. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So I guess to start off with the kind of kickstart the conversation, can you maybe provide me with a uh, maybe a brief overview of how Dex, kind of who you are, what you do, maybe what markets you serve, that sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely. So Haldex is a provider of foundation brakes and air control systems for commercial vehicles. Uh, we're a Swedish company and we were founded more than 100 years ago. Oh, wow. We have a global presence in terms of sales, development and manufacturing in 19 countries. Oh, wow. Okay. And we're about 2,300 employees. And uh, last year, our revenue was 5.1 billion Swedish crowns. Okay, okay, wow. And as far as from a market perspective, so do you all supply to like the heavy truck and trailer market, um, specialty vehicle, that, that sort of markets? Yeah, so for us, it includes trailers, trucks, and uh, buses. Okay, okay. Um, so when you, you recently joined Haldex as CEO back in, was it June, I believe? Yes, so I, I joined in June, but then I, I stepped in full time in August. Oh, okay. Wow, got you. Okay. So so it may be too early for this question, but so when you first were appointed CEO, what were maybe the first two or three opportunities or challenges that you that you identified early on that, that you felt needed to be addressed within the company? So, um, I mean, before I joined as CEO, I was part of the board of directors for one and a half years. And okay. there I was heading the techni technical committee. So I was pretty well aware of, of Haldex. Okay. And uh, I knew that we have excellent technology and that we have a successful history and we have a lot of opportunities uh, moving forward, mm -hmm. especially in terms of these new trends, electrification and autonomous driving. So I knew that, that we have a lot of potential there, and that's also partly that what attracted me to take the role, because I see uh, the great uh, potential that Halix has to take a new position in the new ecosystem that is forming in this industry. Got it. Yeah, so, you know, because when I think of Haldex, honestly, like the first thing that comes to my mind is more of the traditional braking, slack adjusters, uh, calipers and you know made the, the the friction side the air disc brake pads so are you are you all already deep into the like advanced braking such as like the collision mitigation pedestrian detection um lane departure are you are you already in there or is that something you guys plan to do i think you're correct about your view but we also have a lot of new innovations for for the future mm -hmm. so we have for example electromechanical brakes that we have developed and uh, recently we got the Chinese approval uh, for that and we also have uh, test installations with the Chinese bus uh, manufacturers. Oh, okay, wow. So wow. Uh, I mean these obviously are, are products that will go into production next year and that is then suitable for this uh, the trend of electrification. Got it, yeah and, it, and from, a, from a, uh, a market perspective are these product's going to be something that you're going to have globally in the U.S., Europe, other places as well? Yes, absolutely. But it, it depends a little bit about the legislation. So, I mean, Europe is, is working on it and so the Americas, but I think uh, Asia is, is ahead. Got it. Okay. Um, so, so from a tech, you know, speaking like technology, kind of staying on that, obviously your background is, is in the tech space, engineering, technology, you worked in various other segments too, healthcare and startups to large companies. So, so how are you seeing, from a technology perspective, how are you how are you seeing that affecting our industry as far as commercial vehicle segment or just industry in, in whole? I, I think, um, as I said in the beginning, I mean we have these trends, and I think this industry is is dramatically changing, and also in terms of how you collaborate, that now you have to invest so much in new technologies. So you, you will see uh, new types of partnerships. And I think you, you also will see uh, startup companies coming from different areas. I mean, you will see small artificial intelligence companies moving into the space. And yeah, people who will look more holistically at transportation. So I think we, we can expect a, a big change. Yeah, so... Is that going to also impact from a like internally as a company 
the technology, how you maybe manufacture products, how you made from a logistics standpoint, how you're shipping, receiving, delivering products, is all that also going to impact you as well? Yes, I believe so. And also, I mean, we also, um, we're changing uh, our talents. I mean, we're moving more and more to being a system provider and we have actively hiring software engineers. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. The, the common trend. Uh, sure. Yeah. And that's a, uh, that seems like that's, that's, that's occurring everywhere too, from a, from a technology and a talent perspective, for sure. Yes. So, so we're absolutely moving from being a components provider to more a system provider. And what differs us from others is that we have an open architecture. So the OEMs can, can collaborate with us in a different way. Mm -hmm. So we offer them an open, an open architecture, which is a big advantage. Big advantage. And then does that also affect how you, how you work with suppliers as well? I mean, does that affect maybe who you select as suppliers or maybe how you operate with them? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, so from a, getting back to the talent perspective too, you know, having to hire different type of talent, more technical oriented individuals. So, you know, are there certain aspects other than the actual technology or the, I guess the, their background experience, are there other qualities that you've learned to kind of look for when, when hiring talent? I, I think since, since Haldex is relatively small compared to our competitors, I mean, it's important for us to be fast and innovative and think outside the box. So I think it's, it's more these parameters that, that we look for as well. One mm -hmm. has to understand the position of Haldex. We, we're a fast moving, innovative uh, company. Yeah. Actively working now to take a stronger position in the new ecosystem. So we're looking for people with passion and drive and and tech, of course. But sure, you sure. you also have to to be um, aware of the changes that is going on in the industry. Yeah. So you know, from a commercial vehicle perspective, too. You know, since you've worked in other high tech space, other uh, other segments, you know, is there a difference in the type of uh, individual or is it pretty much, you know, the same same qualities that make you successful in one segment obviously can make you successful in this particular segment? Yeah, I mean, my previous segment was uh, with Permobil and medical uh, equipment. I mean, there was also transportation, but different type, but I, I think it's it's more or less the same. Yeah. It's, I think it's more the, the individual, the thinking and the mindset. Sure, sure. Um, transitioning into like the market itself, you know, I'm seeing, and from what I'm seeing, I'm hearing, it looks like maybe 2020, maybe especially in the US I've seen where it looks like there's gonna be a dip in the, the, the commercial vehicle space. I'm not sure exactly how severe it will be or what they're predicting, but are you all seeing that as well? Are you preparing for that, that situation? Yes, I mean, um, it's impossible not to miss the signals that the market is turning down. But uh, for us, uh, since we have a very strong aftermarket, we have a, a big uh, segment there. So it, it affects us a little bit less since we can rely on the aftermarket, but of course we're affected. I mean, the trailer market in Europe um, is much slower and also the trucks in US. So we're of course affected by that. And, uh, but it's not a surprise. I mean, we have been preparing for this, so. Yeah, and I noticed, you know, you all announced a few you made a few announcements a month ago or a few weeks ago about, you know, streamlining operations in the U S you know, maybe moving the, I believe it's a slack adjuster, a brake adjuster, um, operations from U S to Mexico. Then also, then of course in Europe too, you get, looks like you guys are doing some things in Europe to streamline. Is that, is that to prepare for this? Is that strictly financial situation or were there other, <clears throat> other things that went into the decision of doing that? I mean, we have previously set a target to increase our margin to 10% by 2022. So this, and to reach that, we've set up a number of work streams. And one was to, to streamline our production footprint. So this, uh, these closures or these two plans were, was part of our plan. And this is to, then, um, to receive economies of scale at our other plans. I really appreciate your time. I know you, uh, you've got a really busy schedule, so I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day to, 